And uh, ready. So oh, here we go. We're green. We are off and racing. Anna Kay in the red. Sanakant in the Belgian champion's jersey. On the left, Helen, you've won this race four times in your career. Is the start of the Copperberg Cross as brutal as it looks? It's far more brutal. Um, it's actually about 45 seconds of incredibly intense climbing effort all the way to the top. And then you turn into the field and then you have to do another uh, 30 seconds of climbing effort up past the pit to the very, very top of the course. And yeah, I mean, even today you can see all the mud down the inside on these gutters. And normally you use those gutters because you're not bouncing all over the cobbles, but these cobbles get super, super slick. So it's an incredibly intense effort. And there's no way of overtaking in this part, so you need to kind of just be at the front and drive the, the race. It's Fem Van Empel in the rainbow jersey in the centre, getting an absolutely phenomenal start for Vela Revolution. Big shout out to Ishbel Strathy, uh, the young British rider who is uh, in the green, but it's Santa Kant, Anna reversed right there. Anna Kay just trying to move up a bit, Anna reversed. Uh, Denise Betsema going through, Nina Burton, you can see from the Ceratizit WNT colours. Oh, that's unfortunate. See, this sort of day as well, we can see just the mud and what everyone's dealing with. And, and as you said, those ruts underneath. Because the residents here the rest of the year, they're, 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 it's probably cows, I'm imagining. Very much cows. You know, the, you know a lot of the, the, the sort of legacy of the usual residents of this field is, is what we have to deal with in court. Uh, Riding through cow poop, yes, <laughs> absolutely. That that does happen on this race, but I meant their hooves. I mean, I meant the weight and the, oh, and right. the tracks that they that they also come. Okay, and Kim van der Steele. This could potentially, on the final lap, come down to a sprint up the Koppenberg. This one, this definitely could, and that's really tricky to choose. Um, there's two really good lines there. You saw that. Um, uh, Anna Kane went around the outside and she managed to keep uh, able to keep her feet in the pedals. This rider this is a really strong performance. Sven Van Empel sliding out there, just having to uh, shout to uh, Joe Blanchard there to get out of the way. Unfortunately, the 80% rule, tough one on a day like this, the 80% rule. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what do you do? <laughs> you got the 80% comes just before the cobbles. Um, and so this rider's still on their second lap, you know, it's when the course conditions are this long, it really works best when the when the races are between about seven and nine minutes because then you have a really it's really easy to get the eighty percent right. Whereas when they're shorter races or super long races, it's really tricky. Victories from six starts so far this season. She's still got a fair way to go now to the top of the climb. You can see the mud all across the cobblestones. But for the second year running, she will lift the cobblestone at the top of uh, the most epic and uh, brutal of days that we have seen in cyclocross for a little while, but deservedly so. And with another very measured, very focused ride, Fem Van Empel takes the Copperberg Cross for the second time in her career and holds the rainbow <laughs> bike aloft. I couldn't do that. When the last one I won, I was just in the, on the floor in the corner. <laughs> Uh, what a ride. Gets a fresh bike at the top. Does the Yumbo Visma rider. That was something else. That, wasn't it? Yeah, super strong. And Betsima's going to maintain that second position ahead of Anna Kay. So Denise Betsima on the Koppenberg. You can see the bike. You can see the tyres as well. The tyre pressure for Denise Betsima from, from this shot. Anna Kay comes uh, into shot in the background does it's, for shorten it very slightly that camera angle it's good to see that Betsima is back um, she is riding really strong and when it comes to a race like this where you don't have to have such an amazing start um, because the there's plenty of places to get back up there um, she's yeah back on the podium again which is great to see and you can just see she's zigzagging her way <laughs> up the uh, Koppenberg at the moment I think that just Anna just went into that uh, gutter and then it kind of flicked her a bit, so she has to go straight back into the middle and 
you can see the finish line and it's so painful <laughs> because you can see it, but you know it's not quite there yet. And you've just got to try a little bit harder to get over the top. So Denise Bettema coming back from uh, injury this summer. She is in going to take second spot here. We just saw Anna Kay in the background just taking the opportunity to have a look back over the shoulder. It's the first uh, big uh, Belgian podium for her in a while. But Denise Bettema second behind Fem Van Empel for the second year running. One minute and 52 seconds down for Denise Bettema. Anna Kay from Great Britain for the Cyclocross Reds. This is a strong podium from uh, Anna Kay. I think Robotland Essen was the last uh, Belgian cross uh, podium, I think, for her in uh, 2019. She knows she's strong. You know that from the numbers when you're training, but to come back from an injury or something, it's really important that you get a result as well. Ben Van Empel is your champion for the second year running here at the Koppenberg Cross. Gets the duck. And of course, we'll get the famous trophy as well. Have you got a reinforced uh, mantelpiece for your... For your um, Mine are actually, currently, this is awful to admit, but they're in my basement. They, If my kid managed to pick them up, he would damage himself dropping them. So, <laughs> currently in the basement. And as we said, this is the, we get the cobblestone here in on the Koppenberg Cross. Just like Paris-Roubaix.